Education is a human right, a public good, and a public responsibility. The United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 24th of January as International Day of Education in celebration of the role of education for peace and development. I don't think we can overemphasize what power the, um, education wields. Um, part of what we're discussing today, you know, imagine if we were well educated, you know, well informed on, on certain things. I think it would, it would do us a lot of good. I mean, there are some things we will not struggle with even as a continent, as a people, because now we understand, you know. So, I mean, for every opportunity to celebrate um, the space, we would always take on that, um, that opportunity. So, I mean, what major thing has education played? What role has education played in your life, Mary? It's given me exposure. It's given me the ability to talk intelligently, like, you know, among my peers. And there are just some basic things that, like, I would see businesses and I, would, I can tell if this person went to school and if this person didn't go to school. Education gives you a bit of finesse and adds, you know, a lot to my life so it's done a lot for me i'm grateful and i want to go further like to take on more courses masters if possible phd you know because i can see what it does it just opens up your intelligence to you know so many things it seems little at first but it, it plays out in different areas of my life so yes mm -hmm. education is very important to me how about you nj I was going to add that, you know, when we talk about education, people should also understand there are informal education as well. Yeah. So that was, that was actually yeah, what I was about to say, that education to me is learning. Mm. And learning can be done anywhere. In the school system, outside the school system, your environment. So the exposure you're talking about, also by experiencing some of these things, we get educated by traveling, going to learn things from other cultures and countries. We mm. learn different things, we get educated. So because there are a lot of people, for example, a, lo a lot of people who have never been to Nigeria or to Africa are being told that that when they come to Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, they're expecting to see animals just <laughs> running uh, alongside. So until you come to Africa, then you see that that's not how it is. Do you understand? And when they come here, they are re-educated mm. about, you know, what they've been told. And mm. yes, so it's very, very important. It gives you some level of confidence. Um, knowledge is power. So education is also um, gaining some form knowledge. of knowledge. So definitely it gives you power to be able to do a, achieve a lot of things in the world. You know, um, so it takes you as far as your eyes can see. And that's why people go from degree to degree, just trying to uh, amass More as knowledge. much knowledge as, as they can. Possible. All right, so let's quickly go to what we found in the news. Maybe I'll start with you. President Buhari arrives Lagos to commission some projects. We have the Lekki Deal, Deal Seal port yesterday, and today we're doing the 13-kilometer blue rail line. This took place today at the Marina train station. I think they had some blockages today because he was coming in. And the train network is to transit between Marina and Mile 2 access as part of the state's measure to reduce road congestion. I think this is actually a great idea and i hope we can maintain it because that's really where our problem is today but yeah kudos to him moving on <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my new story is from the cbn governor uh, governor of the central bank of nigeria uh, Godwin Emefile has said cbn will not extend the january 31st deadline for the old notes um so and in all in other news a lot of agencies and a lot of companies even banks have been pleading and trying to solicit for an extension and even most of the time if you go to the um, atm even since you know they they claim that the notes should have been with the banks which was la last year so it's quite hard to see. I don't know how we're going to achieve this whole transition and everything. I don't know how it's going to be done because he, um, even Emefele is pleading with EFCC because a lot of people have cash at home. Nigerians are used to keeping cash at home. So now you're saying that 
there's going to be a transition for the notes. A lot of people are, you can't take, there's a limited amount of cash. funds and cash you can take to the bank to make a deposit. So I'm sure a lot of people are no, looking not for... not really make a deposit. I think more of the withdrawal. That's the problem. I can, I can pay in what I have, but it is in withdrawing, right? Oh, no, if, it, the, if it was easy, so for instance, if I took a, a billion to yes. the bank and they would give me back a billion worth of the new notes, will not be having all this problem. No, but you cannot. The, you I, can't I, take I think the a billion cash without flagging in yes, pieces. That's the possible. problem. If so I do it in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so that becomes I don't think, the problem. I don't think depositing is really their problem, actually. It's well, part of it. Yeah, it no, it, so that's what I'm saying to you that depositing is might be a problem, but it is not the major problem. The problem most of these people have that store cash in the house is so if I go to the bank and I make this deposit, what then happens? when i want my money back okay. so the, the real crux of the pro the pain the pain point for most people is that yeah, there's no physical yes risk. there's nothing yeah. to give me back in yeah. return so if i give you a billionaire please return my one billionaire in the new currency yeah. and the cbn is trying to say no we have a limited amount that we can give to you when we when you withdraw so it's going it's going to cost yeah it's a, a big issue we will have that conversation on friday we have um one of our in-house and friend of the house coming to discuss elaborately on that in fact tomorrow we're also discussing some issues around money but speaking about money my story is actually tied to yours because it's now interesting that kidnappers are demanding ransom in dollars um i mean we <laughs> i remember uti typing in the group that we have not even got into january 31st yet i said but that is the no this is the this is the aftermath or this is the rather ripple effect okay. of these kinds of policies already mm. we're still trying to solve money um kidnapping problem and we've been saying something that why don't we follow the money to to um, apprehend these kidnappers and you know end okay. their their terror but now we are now seeing that uh, some kidnappers you know are now demanding a ransom of dollars so uh, according to the report um, one out of three of the kidnappers um um that were kidnapped near the fulani settlement in iwo town in um ocean state had been rescued so the thing is it's not like he was rescued per se they ran into some sets of hunters right and i think he in that process there was a scuffle, and in that process he ran away so and they were about eight gunmen right and two other people are still in their custodies and from the report they reached out to the families and they asked them for a five million naira ransom which they now later came back to say okay pay four million naira but you have to pay the in equivalent in dollars now tell me how do we move from here it's a very sad situation, but hey, that's part of all our conversations today. Today, because <laughs> these are the things that we say when we are we're not understanding the impact of, you know, Listen. not really taking ownership of your country, and you know, you would you certain things would just you know just not work. Um, so we'll take a break now. Hopefully, we'll be able to reconnect with Norma, so she will join the conversation and we'll discuss the Western influence on 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 us as Africans. Stay with us. We'll be right back.